in this video lecture we're going to learn what is meant by the term acid salt now previously uh, we had studied that salts are formed when acids are neutralized and what that meant was that if you had an acid HCl now the only reason this molecule was an acid is because it was capable of producing an H plus one ion but if you get rid of that H plus ion and replace it with any other positive ion it will get neutralized for example if I replace it with Na plus ion Cl is minus one it's going to form NaCl and this would be a salt because it would no longer be able to produce an H plus ion because that H plus ion has been replaced by an Na plus ion so if you replace the H plus one in an acid with any other positive ion a salt is formed and it could have been any positive ion if I had uh, used magnesium instead then the formula would be different it's uh, I've replaced the H with magnesium ion so the formula of the salt is going to be Mg Cl2 or I could have used ammonium ion as well which is also a positive ion so I replace the H in the acid with ammonium ion I would get NH4Cl which is also a salt but this time it's a it's an ammonium salt so uh, this is how salts were formed when an acid was neutralized now in a similar way an acid salt is formed when an acid is incomplete ne incompletely neutralized so it's a product of incomplete neutralization and i'm going to explain to you what that means so for example if i have sulfuric acid which is h2so4 now to make a salt out of sulfuric acid i need to neutralize this i need to get rid of the two H plus one ions in sulfuric acid and replace it with any other positive ion. So if I replace it with Na plus ion and SO4 is two minus, the formula would be Na2 SO4. So this is complete neutralization. I got rid of both the H plus one ions and I replaced it with two Na plus ions and I got this salt which is sodium sulfate. Incomplete neutralization is that if I don't get rid of both the H plus one ions, let's say I get rid of only one of the H plus one ions. So now what's happening is that if I get rid of one of the H plus one ions, one H plus one ion is still remaining. So the formula is now going to be NaHSO4. And you can still see that there's, there is one H plus one still remaining that needs to be neutralized. So this thing over here, this is incomplete neutralization, incomplete neutralization, which basically means, so incomplete neutralization, which means that one of the H plus one is still remaining in the, in, uh, in the formula of the compound that is formed. So I did not replace both the H plus one ions, I only replaced one of the H plus one ions and one H plus one ion is still remaining. So this, uh, compound over here it is a salt because it is a product of neutralization but not a complete neutralization so that would suggest that this compound can still produce an H person because it still has an H person ion so it can still act as an acid so if it, if it can still act as an acid so it's an acid plus it's a salt as well because it's a product of neutralization plus it's an acid because it still ha is capable of producing an H plus one ion. In a similar way I can make other formulas of acid salts uh, which are products of incomplete neutralization. For example I have H3PO4 and H3PO4 is an acid that is capable of producing three H plus one ions. It has three hydrogen ions in the formula. So if I replace those hydrogen ions I'm going to get a salt. Uh, let's take Na again so Na is 1 plus PO4 is 3 minus using the crisscross method I would need 3 sodium ions to replace 3 H plus 1 ions so it's going to be Na3 PO4 now this is complete neutralization so this one over here is a salt now I'm going to try to incompletely neutralize it which means I'm not going to get rid of all the 3 H plus 1 ions uh, let's uh, start with one let's say I replace one of the H plus 1 ions so if I get rid of one of the H plus 1 ions, I still have two H plus 1 ions in the formula. And the formula is going to be NaH2PO4. So this one over here would be an acid because it's capable of producing H plus 1 ions. Plus it's also a salt because it's a product of neutralization. So, so it's an acid salt. 
or I can make another acid salt from this if I if I replace two of the H plus nines and there's only one H plus one ion left in the formula so now the formula is going to be Na2 HPO4 so that would indicate that that would indicate that there's still one H plus one remaining so it's ca it can still act as an acid so it's an acid salt